Hello everyone. So I thought it might be kind of nice to share with you my collection of Chanel blues. As you can see, I have five items here, four bags and one is in SLG. And what's interesting about Chanel colors is they're really not fancy with their names. Like several of these are just called navy and then they're just called blue. So a lot of the times when you hear somebody say, oh, I got an iridescent mermaid green or I have an emerald green or a cactus green or a sunshine yellow those are names that they've come up with chanel does not name their items that way it's just navy blue black purple very basic color names um, so what you're basically looking at is the color blue in terms of chanel but you can see that they're all different shades um, kind of you can see from the group shot a little bit better than if i did them individually but over here i'm just going to kind of rotate over here is my mini um, Hamptons bag, and this is considered a blue, but it's got a real heavy purple undertone to it. Um, and I'll take each one out individually. In the back by here, back, excuse me, it's the Elementary Chic in the Navy lambskin. This one is the Small Trapezio, and that's in Navy. So they're calling this Navy and this Navy, and you can see there is a color difference there. Um, then in the front, this is also a navy, and it's a caviar mini O case. And then this one over here is in fact called a metallic blue, because it is a metallic um, caviar. So that's a metallic blue. So those are the different shades of blue right there. I've done videos on almost all of these, I believe. If I haven't, then it's lack of time, and because I work full-time, which I've mentioned before, this is a hobby for me, so I don't always get the chance to upload everything I own. Um, but let me walk you through each one. I'll basically tell you um, what it is, the season that it came from, in case it's a color that you are particularly interested in, and then just a little bit about the bag itself. So I'll start with the smallest one, and I'll keep everything in the background for you guys. That way you can still look at the blue colors. Um, blue is my favorite color, obviously. Any shade of blue. I'm a fan of any shade. Sky blue, turquoise, navies, um, anything. I, I just love blue. So this is a mini O case in caviar and the color was described as navy. It's a 28 series from 2019 and the price that I paid for it I believe was $4.95. I think that's what it was. But here you can see a navy blue. Hopefully it's coming up okay. I have particularly good lighting today so it looks true to color. It's probably a little darker in person than it appears on the screen though. But this is a mini O case in the navy and this one is 28 series from 2019. Okay, so the next one, why don't I just go to the classic flap. The classic flap, this is the medium large. It's in a metallic dark blue. And this one is a 20 series from the year 20. 15 so five years old although they don't typically release the same colors in chanel i did see a color extraordinarily close to this that was re-released in 2018 um, so this color it could have been if you look online and you are interested in this color it could be the 2015 release and it also could be the 2018 they came out with a metallic dark blue in caviar both times so it has a definite um, shimmer to it. You might not be able to see it on the camera, but um, it's definitely more edging toward a metallic blue. I absolutely love this one. Actually, one of my favorite colors is a sky blue, but because of color transfer, I have a fear of actually purchasing anything in those lighter colors, like the Tiffany blues and the sky blues. So even though I adore those colors, I stay away from them because I don't wanna be um, bothered with color transfer issues and having to worry too much. So this is the medium classic flop in a metallic from the um, 20 series, 2015. And then the next one, I don't think I've done a review on this one and it's actually one that I've been um, contemplating selling, but this is the small trapezio. It's a seasonal bag that came out in pre-fall 2016. It's done in a sheepskin, which a lot of people might not be familiar with, but it feels really soft. It's closer to lambskin than caviar, but sheepskin, it's, um, I don't want to say it's cruelty free, but certainly um, one of the more humane fabrics, leathers that you can um, get um, because they don't kill the animal until the end of its life cycle, to be honest, because um, sheep are very valuable animals, so they don't kill them for their, um, their leather. So this is a sheepskin trapezio in the size small, and this is also in a navy fabric or navy color rather, pre-fall 2016. 
it's kind of like it's very wide right here so it sits out kind of far from your body and it's done in like an accordion style i've got everything stuffed right now but um it's in an accordion style so you have like almost pochette matisse kind you've got like the three pockets going on internally here um, but a really nice bag and kind of that Chanel 19 look too with the chain strap coming forward. But this is a navy once again from pre-fall 2016. And you can kind of see already how the blues, even though they're all in the blue family, they do have a little bit of difference. This is, I would say, the one that is the most different because it has a huge purple undertone to it. You can see it's very visible um, that it's blue, but not blue. Um, this is the Mini Hampton. It's a lambskin fabric. It came out in spring of 2013, and you can see up close that it has like a really nice shine to that lambskin. I really like it. Super, super soft and wonderful to touch. And it has an enamel CC right here, which is very oversized in comparison to the bag. It's basically the size of a walk, actually a little bit bigger, more like a half moon walk. And then again, when you open it and flip this down, you've got like another kind of accordion-ish kind of look going on in there. It's got a long shoulder strap. And this is a blue, once again, from spring 2013. And on my box, I do have the original box. They just refer to it as blue fonts, F-O-N-C-E. Okay, and then the very last blue that we're gonna take a look at, this is probably my favorite color of blue. It's a navy. This is the um, elementary chic bag. And I believe it only came in this size. I might be mistaken, but this is the only size that I remember seeing it in. It's the Elementary Chic Medium, so it must have come in a different size. Um, and it's from Act One, Fall Winter of 2015. It's a seasonal bag, um, beautiful, beautiful bag, so, so soft, and it's done in a lambskin. I do have a preference for lambskin over caviar, so if I'm given the choice, I typically will pick lambskin over caviar. I just feel it's more luxurious. It just feels really, really soft to the hand. I just, my hands prefer touching lambskin. Um, but once again, this was referred to as a navy and it's from um, Act One, Fall Winter 2015. So I just thought I'd show those to you guys. Um, they all have reviews, like I said, so I don't feel like I have to do any kind of reviews on them. But um, seeing all the different kind of blues that Chanel offers is kind of interesting. I love looking at color collections, like people who collect just a single color. I, I find that fascinating. Um, I don't typically do that. I do, um, you know, collect in different colors. My least favorite color is black. I avoid black if at all possible and try to, you know, gravitate more to a navy as a neutral. Um, but definitely my favorite color is blue and I hope to add a lot more Chanel blues to my collection. I'm looking for maybe a top handle one, as you can see, um, if I widen out a little bit here, there's no top handle represented. So that's kind of what I'm looking for now. Anyway, if you have any questions about any of these, uh, let me know. Also tell me what your favorite color is. And if you collect in just one color, I feel like also, um, Focusing in on just one color has helped me to not buy as much because I'm not just buying everything that I like I'm actually looking for a specific color family and it cuts down on the impulse purchasing if I just know I'm gonna target blue um, So I hope this is helpful. Thanks so much for watching you guys and have a good day. Bye. Bye